Ornithopter, an aircraft that flies by flapping its wings. Now, ornithopters date back to at least 1505 when Leonardo da Vinci compiled the codex on the flight of birds. Within its pages, he detailed blueprints for some of the first ornithopters ever conceived by man. He did build and attempt to fly a number of his aircraft near Florence without much success. However, in 2005, one of his gliders was successfully built and flown for a PBS television series called uh, Leonardo's Dream Machines. Now, in 2008, I started seeing videos of a small aircraft called the Da Vinci. It was a two-channel ornithopter and it was billed as the world's smallest ornithopter. Uh, the first video I saw was from the uh, Interactive Toy Concepts booth at the 2008 CES show, and you only see it fly for a few seconds at the most. There was another video from French National TV of it flying for less than two or three seconds, and the reporters really don't say much other than maybe someday it'll take pictures of you without you knowing it. Now I waited and waited and I never saw the aircraft on store shelves, so I did a little research and I found out that the original aircraft was called the Hummer and it was built by a man named Peter in Norway. He won a contest in 2007 in the south of France for the world's smallest ornithopter. Interactive Toy Concepts picked up the idea and was going to market it in summer of 2008, however because of the economic downturn and because of problems with production, only a few ever made it to store shelves, and they sold for $69.99, which was really expensive for a two-channel aircraft. Nowadays you can pretty much only find them on eBay, which is where I picked this one up at. Uh, for about $30 or so, uh, it did come with a broken tail, but I was able to fix it with a small piece of wire. Now, it is an amazing little aircraft. I have a lot of fun with this thing. Um, unfortunately, during the first flight, I flew it without its nose guard, as suggested on some RC forums. They said it was extra weight, but I think it actually does guard the nose rather well, because unfortunately, I broke the push rod that connects the wings to the main gear. So I had to make my own out of a piece of wire and a little bit of epoxy, but with some tinkering, it worked out fine. Now the aircraft mechanics are amazing and elegant. It has one motor that spins a main gear that's connected to both wings that flaps them up and down at about 40 times a second. Now the plastic on the wings is actually loose to mimic real insect wings the way that an insect wing flaps and it continues to move down at the end of the flap as the wing moves back up. And you can sort of see this in the slow motion view. Now turning is accomplished sort of similar to the way the iFly vamp turns. However, instead of the motor being connected to a small gear, there's actually a piece of string that loops around the motor once and connects to a teeter-totter device which raises and lowers the uh, trailing edge of the wings. Now the steering is actually proportional steering, it's not just bang-bang steering, and it is really, really responsive and it's very fast. Unfortunately, it does have a problem with getting stuck at full right or full left. Now when it comes to the aircraft, it actually flies for about 5 minutes and charges for about 20 and it is an amazing aircraft. It's a lot of fun to fly, but it's not easy to fly. It's really more about keeping it in the air than it is about getting it to go where you want. Uh, you get a good 5 minutes worth of flight if you can keep it in the air for 5 minutes, but altogether it's a great experience, but it's easy to understand why it never made it to store shows. It is a fun aircraft. It's a lot of fun to tinker with, I have to say. I've really enjoyed playing with it, I've enjoyed flying it, I've enjoyed fixing it, it's really a lot of fun. It would be nice if it was a little more controllable, and of course it would be great if it had actual RC instead of infrared. But altogether, for the $30 I paid on eBay for it, I think it's a lot of fun. Now if you ever have the chance to pick one up, I say get it, if you can get it for about 30 bucks, because it's really a lot of fun, it's fun to tinker with, it's fun to fix, if you have the space to fly in, and you have the time to work on it, it can be a fun little aircraft. It would be nice if it was a little more controllable, and it would be nice if it was radio controlled instead of infrared controlled. But all in all, I think it is a wonderful little aircraft that Da Vinci would have loved to have flown around his shop. I do thank you for tuning in to RC101 with the Dallas Flyer. Subscribe for more fun aircraft videos.